Once one of the very top and very important disciples of Rabbi Nachman before he came, became a disciple, in his initial meeting with Rabbi Nachman, and this disciple was already a master Kabbalist, he was already learning Kabbalah, he was a tzaddik, etc. And he came to Rabbi Nachman. So his introduction to Rabbi Nachman was like this, Yoreinu Rabbeinu Derech Lavodat Hashem. Let our master teach us a way to serve Hashem. And then Rabbi Nachman answered him, Ladaat ba'aretz darkecha. You want to know while steeped in the earth the ways of Hashem? So Rav Nosen explains there, in other words, Rabbi Nachman was against this person's haughty way of expression. Let our master teach us a way of serving Hashem. As if the person wasn't lacking anything else in life, just to know a way to serve Hashem. And Rabbi Nachman was against that because he wanted the person to speak to him honestly and sincerely without this false attitude of presentation, which is not real. Rabbi Nachman stuck out in this, is that the people who came in contact with him, he wanted them to be real people, not to be fake people who they weren't really and they're just doing things for the show but to be who you really are and that's how Rabbi Nachman continues to be today and that people who are drawn and benefit from Rabbi Nachman's teachings are people who are trying to be real people and not just to live for the sake of society and to live a false attitude and in that, atti that way they will never come to the truth of who they really are and why they were sent back to the world and this Rabbi Nachman was very careful about is that he was only interested in talking to people in his lifetime who were honest and sincere and who were looking like Rabbi Nachman himself once said elsewhere I can only help a person who comes to me and tells me what they need and not the attitude oh I'm okay but if you Rabbi Nachman and the breast of teachings have anything additional to offer me I'm ready, I'm all ears, I'm ready and willing to listen. That's not the attitude. Such a person will never benefit truly from Rabbi Nachman's teachings till today. The attitude has to be that I'm looking for something. I'm looking and that looking causes me, is reflected in that I am sincere and honest in my presentation of how I'm looking, of, of that, that I'm looking in the first place. So to go back, he wanted Rabbi Nachman, this man, to speak with, with total sincerity. There's a continuation to that story and that at that point Rabbi Nachman issued, he revealed to this disciple a strong dosage of fear of heaven, of fear, and this disciple got so frightened from the, uh, the exposure of Yerat Shamayim that Rabbi Nachman was giving him that he got up from the table and he walked out to the door. He was standing by the door. He was scared to come close. So Rabbi Nachman took away the exposure of this fear and the, the disciple came back in and again Rabbi Nachman sh shone upon him this strong dosage above his level of fear that he got so scared he got up from the table and left and it happened a few times. And then Rabbi Nachman laughed and he said, what's wrong? What are you afraid of? I am a human being just like you. It's just that I'm smarter than you. And in that way Rabbi Nachman was able to subdue to bring down the, so to speak, haughty attitude that this disciple had, and he became one of the closest students of Rabbi Nachman because of the attitude of being sincere and honest and who you really are, being a real person at your level.